Hi, how's everyone doing? I am excited to talk to you guys about a couple of Lumaire's newer products. Uh, this is their pressed powder and this one is their tinted lip balm. So what I wanted to do is actually do like a half face for you guys. So for those of you that do wear a full face of makeup, I'm going to do this side in foundation, concealer, all the jazz. Um, and this side I'm going to put no makeup on, but we're just going to use the pressed powder. And then in the very end, we'll add some of the tinted lip balm so you guys can see the difference it makes on your lips. So a little bit about the pressed powder first. To me, it is the exact same formula as their loose powder. It is just now in a very convenient, travel-friendly packaging of a pressed powder. There is, of course, Miracle Broth in the pressed powder. Uh, their sponge that they give you with it is actually a little unique as well. It has two sides to it. One is a softer side and one is more of a regular sponge side. The softer side actually delivers more of a matte finish while the other side will deliver more of like a blurred finish where it will blur out your pores. So we'll use both. Um, I'll use the softer side on the full makeup side for more of a matte finish. And then on the other side, we'll use the sponge side in order to get that flawless blurred pores look, all right? The powder doesn't have much of a smell. It does not have a shimmer. I get that question all the time, like is it a shimmer powder? No, it is a completely matte, flat powder. Uh, it does have light reflecting particles in it, it says, which really just helps blur your skin, your pores, your fine lines. There's zero shimmer to it though whatsoever, like no shimmer. So let's get cracking on the makeup real quick. I'm going to start with Elysian. It's a face primer. I've talked about it in past videos. Love, love, love this stuff. They're actually doing 20% off right now. So I'll put that code down below. Um, I do not make money if you use that code. So I'm going to put the DeLorean primer on both sides of my face. Alright, um, on this side of my face, just because we are already talking about La Mer, let's pull out the La Mer foundation as well. Right? Why not? So this is the La Mer Soft Fluid Long Wearing Foundation. I'm the shade Ivory O2. Always remember to shake it before use. One pump. One pump is really all I need for my entire face, so I'm probably going to have some extras. I have a sponge sitting here because I'm going to use it for my concealer, so we're also going to use it for the foundation. Okay, so now that we have the foundation on this side, I'm going to go in, I have Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. And that's about it. And then I take the nice little beauty sponge. Okay. So this is kind of a fun side-by-side -side for me. Like, here's full foundation, concealer, here is no foundation, no concealer, just skincare. And the DeLorean primer, let's not forget that. Okay, so now we're all here for the powder. So I'm going to use the regular sponge side on this side, and they say that the sponge side is more for blurring your pores and fine lines and wrinkles. So back in my 20s, this is all I would do before I left the house, is just powder my face with some makeup, call it a day, and run out of the house. Things have changed since then. Okay, so now on this side I'm going to use a soft side that's meant to make it a matte finish. And for when I'm wearing a full face of makeup, I normally just put powder wherever I tap that concealer and then right on the T-zone just to blot out any shininess. Okay, so if we check back in on this side, I just added the powder underneath my eyes and around the T-zone and that again is for more of a matte finish. And on this side, I just used pressed powder and that is more for that flawless blurred look. I actually like this side. I mean, definitely a difference. Don't get me wrong. All right, so I have to say that I do not personally notice a difference depending on the side of the sponge I used. Like, that's just me, being honest. Uh, even in a big mirror, like, I don't, I don't see it. I can obviously tell the difference between foundation and no foundation. Hello. But 
like just looking at my skin, I, I don't see a difference in the sides of the sponges. So you know what? Use whatever side you want to. And then just because I love this brush, like, oh, I love this brush. We are going to do it one more time. And this time we're going to take the same powder. We are going to put the brush in it, tap it off. And now we're just going to sweep it over. This is that finishing powder that creates that beautiful airbrushed look on all of your skin. Airbrushed. Airbrushed. I might have to wear less foundation. Can I tell you that I'm loving this powder even more now? So, cat's out of the bag. I love the powder. I do love the loose powder, but honestly, Loose powder is inconvenient for me, no matter who makes the loose powder. I just find loose powder frustrating to use because it is loose. It goes everywhere. And it is not travel friendly at all. When I open up the loose powder after traveling, it's just like poof. If I ran out of both of them, I would definitely buy the pressed powder again. It really does create that dewy glow that you want. Okay, so I love it. It is going off memory here. $95? To me, worth it. Like. I would repurchase. So I did buy the translucent powder. There are three shades that it comes in. Only three. Don't get me started. There's really not much of a difference between the three shades. I played with them all on my arm and even though I am super fair, they really all worked out. Like some of them just look like I had a little bit of sun, but not really that much of a difference. All right, so last but not least, the tinted lip balm. So I have nothing on my lips right now that are actually feeling kind of dry. Um, so I am going to just throw some of this guy on. So you can see the difference already between my bottom lip and my top lip, and that is with a thick sweep of the tinted lip balm. It really doesn't add like a lipstick color. It really just brings back that natural, healthy, pink color that your lips already have. So I don't think that this is geared towards women. It's geared towards a natural lip. Like it's not like you're gonna wear this people and be like, oh, what shade are you wearing? That's really pretty. But now that it's winter time, that anything that will bring back a natural looking pink color in my lips, hallelujah. So I really do like the new tinted lip balm. And packaging's kind of cute too. Tinted lip balm and face powder. Tinted lip balm, foundation, concealer, face powder. So whichever way you like to do your makeup or compliment your already gorgeous glowing skin, do you. I think the pressed powder from La Mer is a beautiful powder and I think it would complement any way you want to do your face. So this is already going to be a repurchase for me. I truly, truly love it. And I think I'm going to have to do this a little more often. So thanks for playing along with me today as I tested out the La Mer Press Powder on both sides of my face. So thank you so much for watching and I will chat with you guys again soon.